So the Minato manga has officially released and everybody's going crazy about it. And rightfully so because the one shot was fired from start to finish. Kishimoto was actually in his bag the entire chapter. Like I was just reading this in awe. We even saw more of Kushina and Minato's relationship. We even got more of Minato's teammates in this chapter and young Jiraiya. And Kishimoto actually showcased how strong Minato was for his generation. We saw Minato fighting two-tailed beasts and get the inspiration for the Rasengan. And I just want to say that is the perfect way to get inspiration for something. As the way it happened, you would definitely want an attack like that on your side as well. Thing is, they all have to retreat or they would have all been killed. One of the great things that we got in this one shot is the fact that we saw Minato's teammates. Now, judging off their designs alone, I actually like the way they look. You have Deke who has the Kenshiki build. Now, we don't know the name of the female character on the team, but she looks almost exactly like Sasuke, so I'm gonna assume that she's a new Chia. But all in all, I give Deke's design a cool 8 out of 10 and the female a cool 8 out of 10 as well. Now, this whole one shot was really about Minato and Kushi relationship and the whole theme revolving around love with Mito bringing up the fact that in order for Kushina to be happy as a Jin Cherokee, she needs to find love which I think is a great concept as most of the Jin Cherokees felt hate most of their lives so in order to combat that hate you need to find love within your vessel which is a great concept to have in your story with all the Jin Cherokee that we saw they were always outcasted by their village most of the time they were always alone and lonely you had some like Garo who were straight menaces this also goes back to what was established early on in Naruto where Naruto realizes that if he didn't find friends he would have ended up like Gara. and this is how Garo also turned over a new leaf as he also found friends and he eventually ended up becoming Kaze Kage to help fill his vessel but another thing that we got in this chapter is the fact that we got a little bit more information on the Uzumaki clan now back in Naruto the only thing that we got was that the Uzumaki clan got wiped out by all the nations now in this chapter they gave us a little bit more information on them now we learned that the Uzumaki clan was so strong that they were bringing about balance throughout the world and back in the warring states everybody was fiending for an Uzumaki and all the surviving members are scattered all around the world, which is why we got random Uzumakis in the middle of nowhere. But let's move on to the real juice of the chapter, and that is Minato learning the Rasengan. Now, the one shot makes it clear that Minato is obviously a prodigy, and he was able to get the Rasengan down pretty fast after Jiraiya told him to spin it in both directions, and he literally got it done. And now I see the comparison between Minato and Boruto. As people say Minato's genes skipped the generation, that might actually be true, because when it comes to brains, Boruto is easily closer to Minato than he is to Naruto. But then we move on to Minato and Kushina having a little discussion, with Kushina asking Minato why is he creating the Jutsu. We get a little heartfelt moment saying that Minato created it for Kushina. So that means Kushina had the Rasengan in her bag as well at some point in time. And now that I'm thinking about it, Kushina is low-key kind of busted. But that's another video for another day. But as their conversation is going on, Minato tells Kushina that he loves her. And this is where Kurama the Menace tries to take over Kushina's body. We get a little fight between Kurama Kurama and Minato. Now Kurama actually confirms that Minato was actually stronger than Hashirama at the age of 17 or at the same level as Hashirama as Minato was able to manipulate the seal without being a part of the Uzumaki clan or Hashirama. But as the fight is going on, we also see Kushina helping Minato with her chains. We learn that her chains get stronger every year that passes. They were strong enough to hold the whole nine tails down on her deathbed when she was about to die. I'm not gonna lie, Kushina's chains are definitely out there for most broken Naruto abilities. But all in all, the fight keeps going on. We see more Kushina and Minato moments. There's some sick panels of Kushina using her chains to hold down the nine tails to help Minato fight. Then we get one of the sickest panels I've seen Kishimoto draw. Kishimoto was in his bag drawing them spread. And we see Minato clashing head on with the full nine tails biju ball. Now Kurama is being held down but keep in mind when Minato became Okage, Kurama was basically child's play for him. But then after the fight and Minato wakes up, we see Minato and Kushina looking at the Hokage stone faces and Minato comes up with the final name for the Rasengan. And the fact that the Rasengan is a form of Kushina and Minato's love is so amazing as now it's basically the family signature jutsu. With Naruto and Boruto making countless very of the same jutsu. Maybe one day Himawari will get her hands on the Rasengan. That's just a maybe. But tell me what you guys think about the one shot down below in the comments. Personally, I think this is a 9 out of 10. And hopefully we get Minato and Kushina in the Boruto manga. But make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and also follow my Twitter link in the description. And I'm out. Peace.